Our Democratic leaders in Augusta unveiled their economic agenda for the next two years today, but critics are quick to point out the new plan has some holes in it. WMTW News A political reporter Paul Merrill is here to tell us what those problems are. Paul. Tracy, while the agenda includes a lot of good points, points that almost anyone can get behind, it doesn't spell out how Democrats want to pay for their plan. Also, a lot of the ideas are ones we've already heard and that voters have rejected. While other states around the country are seeing their economies rebound, Maine is lagging behind. A lot of what we heard from Democrats in Augusta this morning was similar to the rhetoric Mike Michaud used during his failed bid for the Blaine House last fall. The one big focus? Jobs. We wanted to know what sets this economic agenda apart from the message that fell flat in November. It's a very much a boots on the ground, bottom up approach that is customized regionally to the needs of each region of the state. Democratic House Speaker Mark Eaves points to the collaboration between Pratt and Whitney jet engine manufacturers in his hometown of North Berwick and York County Community College. The public private partnerships between the state, the company, and the college is exactly the kind of model we should be using across the state to grow jobs, help workers, and help our job creators. Democrats are launching regional tours that will focus on workforce development and job training, keeping and attracting young talent, and making higher education more affordable. Here's what Republicans are saying about the Democratic agenda. Now that the campaigns are over, Republicans look to Democrats to show their sincerity to working in a bipartisan fashion with their votes, not just their rhetoric. The Republican agenda will be the same as, or at least similar to, the one laid out by Governor LePage in his budget proposal. The governor told us that agenda is a response to what Maine people want, and Democrats should listen to that message if they want to have any successes in the next big election in 2016. I think the Maine people want change. And, 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 and I think the people in Maine were very, very clear that they accepted my message. And if this legislature doesn't follow this, the message that the people gave us, I think 16 will take care of the rest of the problem. The Democrats' region-by-region region tour begins next week in York County. The second stop will be at the other end of Maine in Aroostook County. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.